Dog got over here so fucking fast. Yesterday I was going to make a video about tricking my ADHD into cleaning my house. And the way I would do this was convincing myself that I had to get it done in this allotment of time. So I had to get everything done in 30 minutes. At this point, my brain thinks, okay, it's a game, it's a challenge, and I get to it. But after I finally finished filming and got down to editing, my husband brought in a package that was from one of my fans. Jessica, wherever you are and whoever you are, thank you. Um, she bought half my Amazon wish list, guys. I was so amazed and awestruck that you even sent one thing that I couldn't edit all night. I just, I mostly just stared at a wall for the rest of the night trying to understand what happened. I can't wait to use and show you all the things I got, but thank you, Jessica. Thank you. I had received a lot of comments in my last flat top cleaning video on a how-to. Um, there were people saying that it wasn't dirty enough or that I was doing the incorrect procedure or maybe even used Sprite. Um, so I went ahead and did another video here. I made sure that the flat top was kind of dirty. I just It never really gets that dirty. I don't know. You guys are just kind of using the flat top wrong, I think. But... So again, it's all the same process. The last time I did it, it took me eight minutes to clean. This time it took me 12. So it really wasn't that big of an inconvenience. But overall, I mean, it did take a little bit of longer time here. Um, I did have to work a little bit harder, but I didn't have to use Sprite or like any deadly chemicals. I also got like a ton of hate for not like seasoning the flat top or like getting rid of all the seasoning, which is odd to me. I've never heard of seasoning a flat top. So I went ahead and seasoned it in this video just for you guys, but let me know what you think in the comments. And honestly, keep subscribing because this shit's lit. So right now, I'm going to clean all of my keycaps, except these two. So we're going to start by taking all of these off of the keyboard. And I'm just going to put all of these keycaps into this bowl. So now that we have all the keycaps in this bin, I'm going to air dust 
my keyboard because it has a bunch of hair and it's really nasty. So after doing that, it looks pretty clean. Now let's go fill up this bucket with water and some dish soap. So I added all the water and now let's put some dish soap in. So I added some dish soap, now let's mix it around. So here's what the water looks like after I scrubbed them around for about a minute or so. Now let's go get a towel and put the keycaps on a towel. But before we do that, we need to drain all the water out. So we drained all the water out and now I'm just gonna scrunch up all the keycaps to get them dry and then I'm gonna let them air dry for about an hour or so. So I'm just walking back to my room to let them air dry for about an hour or so. Come back for part two. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna do a little video of a uh, dryer vent cleaning. Um, this should be done once every year. This stuff, this stuff can cause a house fire. As you as you can see, it's coming out like this. Stuff has never been cleaned up before. That's why it's imperative to get this cleaned out once every year. What's that, like 12 months? <laughs> there you go. like this video if you should be doing something else but instead you're watching tiktok because you downloaded it as a joke and now you addicted so this is the tub at work this is how it looks and no matter how much i clean it it never gets clean this is what i use but thanks to tiktok i'm just like what if we had what if we do this instead